Welcome everybody. Welcome back to Homestead Heart. And y'all, in today's video, we're going to be talking long-term food storage for cream of whole wheat. Now, before we get into it, this video is sponsored by Azure Standard. And you all already know, I'm happy to do it <laughs> because I truly enjoy shopping with Azure Standard. The process is so easy and you can buy so much in bulk. As you know, I've been talking about Azure Standard for quite some time now. So to do this sponsorship, this sponsored video, it's right up my alley. <laughs> but you all today, for this sponsored video, we are gonna be talking about food storage cream of whole wheat. Now, you all, if you buy cream of whole wheat from the store, you may see it in a box like so, right? Where it says cream of whole wheat or cream of wheat, all right? And I, be I believe this box here is one pound, 12 ounces, okay, for this one. Or you may see it in this brand, the Multimeal brand. And this box, I believe, is two pounds, four ounces, okay? But they are both the same. Unfortunately, the cost of cream of whole wheat has gone up tremendously since 2020, you all, unfortunately. I remember when I used to could get this box for 99 cents a box, and then $1.49, and then $1.99, and then... After 2020, both of these boxes now are running just about $5 a box, you all. And that's very, very expensive, $5 a box. Now, this is if you purchase it yourself. In a separate video, at a later time, I'm going to show you all also how to make this yourself and also storing it long term, okay? But you all, the way I store my cream of wheat, I use these one gallon Mylar bags. See that? And I got these from Azure Standard. Yes, I did. I got these from Azure Standard. And also, I got the 100cc oxygen absorbers to go along with them, all right? Now, of course, you can use your Mylar bags to store a variety of different food items, okay? But today we're talking about cream of wheat because if you purchase cream of whole wheat in the box like this, it has about a two-year shelf life in this box, okay? But if you show it the way I'm sharing with you today, you all, you drastically increase that shelf life, okay? So now we're talking about not two years. Now we're talking about five, six, seven years, depending on the conditions also by which you store it, right? So you may have to make sure that your food storage is in a cool, dry place. Temperatures between about 50 degrees and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And what I do with my Azure Standard Mylar bags, and these Mylar bags that I have are the kind that are resealable. I don't know if you can see that line but these are resealable Mylar bags, okay? So let me show you. What I have done, look at this. These are like bricks right here. They're very hard. But what I have done is, wow, I have poured my farina. This is about 1.9 pounds right here, and I do measure it. <laughs> but this is about 1.9 pounds that's in this bag right here. And I think I put about two to three 100 cc oxygen absorbers in here. I'm not sure if I did three. I can be kind of redundant, <laughs> you know, just to make sure that my package seals, you know. But in any case, I put my oxygen absorbers in here. I'm going to say three. That sounds like something I would do. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like me. <laughs> so I'm, I think I put three in here. And you all, once I put the three in here, you know, this little zipper seal here, I sealed it, but I also came back with my impulse sealer 
and I sealed the top of this bag as well. Now, if you don't have an impulse sealer, you can use a regular iron. You know, all you're going to do is make sure you put this on a heat safe surface that's nice and hard so that you can press down to get a really good seal here. Okay. Or you can use a flat iron that you would use for your hair. You could do that too. And you just put the flat iron on here and just hold it for a few seconds, but it will seal your Mylar bag. And this bag is good and sealed and tight. There's no air in this bag, none whatsoever. No air in this bag. And you all, I even put the date on here. This was March of 2022. So we're coming up on It sounds like the turkeys are right at the back though. But we're coming up on one year since I actually stored this in the Mylar bags that we purchased from Azure Standard, okay? And you all, I have to admit, the Mylar bags are hard to get sometimes. You really have to be in a competition to get them because <laughs> everybody's buying them, right? Everybody is really becoming more and more aware of food security and long-term food storage, right? So as people become more and more, uh, more and more aware of the issues that we have, they are beginning to learn and practice long-term food storage. So you all, if you are wanting to get some farina, I don't know if you all have seen that video where I did some farina bread. If you haven't, I will try to post it at the end of this video so that you can see how I make my bread, okay? Because I don't eat cornbread. What? No. <laughs> I don't. So I will show you all how I make that bread if you haven't seen that video already. But you all, you all, if you have not started to take advantage of the Mylar bags offered by Azure Standard, I'm going to leave that link down below so that you can do it, okay? So that you can do it, you all. I'm here to tell you that this works every time. And then, of course, what you want to do with anything that you're storing, you want to calculate how much you and your family will probably use within a one-year time or one-year period. And that's what you want to try to start building towards for long-term storage, not short-term, because if it's short-term, you don't even need to bother with um, putting these things in Mylar bags and then wasting your oxygen absorbers. Don't bother if it's gonna be short-term. Remember, this is a two-year shelf life on this. So if you're gonna be eating this all the time, don't bother putting it in a Mylar bag. But if you're trying to put this away for future use, then yeah, you want to go to Azure Standard, get your Mylar bags, and get your oxygen absorbers, and you want to store your farina in these bags. Oatmeal too, whatever you want to put in them. Oatmeal, uh, what else can go in them? Other grains too, pasta, right? Well, I wouldn't really put the pasta where well, you can, but pasta takes up a lot of space, okay? A lot of space. So you probably would want to go with a larger bag than a gallon bag for pasta, all right? Unless you're okay with it. You know, everybody's going to do, you know, what works best for them and their family. So if, and also it depends on the type of pasta because an, an orzo would go good in this bag, right? Yeah, an orzo would go really good in here, but something like, um, what is that ginormous shell? that you use when, you, when you're stuffing it with like a ricotta or something like that, then this ain't gonna work for that. <laughs> so you really have to like, um, just think about what you're gonna be putting in this bag and see if it's gonna be a benefit to you, okay? But there are definitely some pastas that will work perfectly in a one gallon Mylar bag, all right? So you all, I just wanted to share that with you. This farina, I'm going to keep my farina put away and I'm, I'm, I'm making sure that the temperature stays at a certain 
degree. You know, that's very important, you all, when it comes to your food storage. Because if it gets too cold, you could ruin your product. If it gets too hot, you can ruin your product. So those temperatures ideal for food storage are between 50 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is important. Don't forget that you all, okay? But in any case, I just wanted to show you all how I'm storing my farina. That wind is really blowing out there. And y'all, I'm pretty sure I can get five or more years out of this one package right here, storing it this way, okay? And that's my goal, long-term food storage, all right? All right, y'all, that's going to do it for this sponsored video by Azure Standard. Just wanted to bring this to you. You all, if you haven't done so already, go on over to Azure Standard and look at their Mylar bags. See what they got going over there with their Mylar for your long-term food storage, all right? You won't be disappointed, okay? They do have, they offer quite a bit, all right, you all? So that's going to do it for this video. I don't know about y'all, but farina is important to me. My children used to eat this when they were little for breakfast. Yeah, when I would feed them breakfast because I wasn't big on cold cereals and stuff when they were growing up. On weekends, they could have their cold cereals, you know. But through the week, when it was real cold and stuff especially, no, it was a hot breakfast. And more than likely, farina was that breakfast. And they absolutely loved it. They still eat it to this very day. Okay, so you all, that's going to do it. I will tell y'all a story about my mom when she used to fix this for me. As a, a little girl, my mama used to fix this for me. <laughs> my mama used to fix this for me as a child, a hot breakfast, right? And that wasn't that long ago. I mean, it seemed like yesterday. But she used to fix this for me as a little girl, all right? So Farina has been around our family for many, many moons. So it's a very good breakfast cereal to give to your babies. But at the same time, you all, it's excellent for bread baking as well, okay? All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for this video. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give our video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we upload to our channel. We wanna thank you all again so much for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next video.